So you see, different scholars have reached different conclusions about the meaning of American football, comparing it to capitalism, religion, and war. What does that tell us about the sport? You first, Peter. I'm more interested in what it tells us about scholars. What do you mean? I mean, how can different scholars look at the same thing and interpret it so differently? It sounds to me like they don't know what they're talking about. But isn't that what we do all the time when we want to understand something complex? We try to find an explanation that makes sense, but that doesn't mean our explanation is complete or unique. A good point. Can you give an example, Linda? Well, the other day I was reading a debate on the internet about why the crime rate in Japan is so low compared to most other countries. Some people said it was because of population factors, such as the declining number of young people. Others said that Japan has less crime because the police have closer ties to the community. Others attribute it to the way Japanese parents raise their children, and still others said the reason was economic, meaning the gap between the rich and the poor is narrower than in other countries. What does that show? It shows that something as complicated as crime can be explained in different ways. But again, doesn't that just mean that most of those explanations must be wrong? I mean, really. When you think about it, how could there be more than one right answer? But there could be, Peter. Many or all of those factors might be playing a role. But let's go back to sports for a minute. We already looked at American football, and I mentioned three symbolic interpretations. Are there other sports that could be explained in various ways too? What about soccer? That's a good example. It's played much more widely than American football. In fact, it's probably the most popular sport in the world. Why is that? Well, I think it's just because the rules are so simple. Compared to a sport like American football or baseball, soccer is really easy to understand. That's why people all over the world enjoy it so much. But sumo is easy to understand too, and that's only popular in Japan. Yes, true. So being simple might be necessary to make a sport popular worldwide. But it's certainly not sufficient. There are a lot of simple sports, and they can't all be popular. What else might play a role? Well, a lot of people play soccer when they're children. Most of them still like it when they grow up, and so that helps to keep the sport popular. But Peter, that's almost like saying that soccer is popular because it's popular. That's not a very interesting explanation. So, what's your point? Is it that there's no explanation for why soccer is popular? No, no, not at all. I'm sure there must be an explanation or explanations. But the explanations you've come up with just now about the sport being simple or popular, I don't think they take us very far. So I guess my point is that good explanations of complex things go deeper and require a lot of thought to develop. The various symbolic meanings I gave for American football are like that. In fact, American football probably speaks to its fans precisely because it has so many meanings and touches them at so many levels. There are probably similarly deep explanations for the global popularity of soccer too, but we just haven't found them yet. Maybe in the future you can do that.